Welcome back, good people, to Let's Play Super Robot Tyson J. On the last installment, the crew and I, Shiko, were on the run. But they reunited. And they were brought back together by the power of their own ship. And now, since we have people, people still in need of use of fight and valor, it is time for us to move on to our next exciting episode, namely called Episode 38. Choosing the road. An opera house. I remember the first time Lacus got up on that stage. Nicole loved her songs too. Lacus Klein, public enemy number one and leader of the treacherous Klein faction. It makes you wonder if everyone's gone crazy. Why did you do that, Lacus? I refuse to believe that you... Who's there? Feeling fine? Is that you, Haru? I won't accept that! D don't tell me! Lacus is here! Whatever! H hey, wait! Hello! Hello, Lacus! Oh, hello there, little Pinky. Where did you go this time? <clears throat> Where did you go this time? Marcus! You seem guarded after him. They sent you to bring me back, haven't they? What's the meaning of this, Lacus? Do you really need to ask me that? I'm sure you heard everything by now. Then it's true? You assisted an enemy spy? <laughs> I have no intention of escaping, even if you don't point that gun of yours at me. Please, answer me! Why did you betray us? I did not assist an enemy spy. All I did was... All I, dis all I decided to do was provide Carol with a new sword. I felt he needed it, and that it would ultimately serve its purpose best in his hands. Kira! What are you talking about, Kira? I mean, what are you talking about, Lacus? Kira's been... Killed him yourself. That's right. Don't worry, it's true. Kira's still alive. Th th that's a lie! There's no way he could have survived that attack! You don't believe me? And what is it you believe in, after? What are you fighting for? Are you doing this for the glory and honor of your homeland? Or your father's orders? If so, then Kira will doubtless become your enemy once again, and you'll be fighting me too. What are you- If that's the way things are going to be, then you might as well shoot me now. After Unsala Asaft! I- That's enough, After Unsala. Lacus Klein, as a fugitive, accused of treason, we have been ordered to arrest you. What? Who are you people? We owe you our thanks. You performed exactly as we expected for her ex fiance and found her treacherous whereabouts in no time at all. Unbelievable. You were telling me? We were only following orders, nothing personal. Please leave us alone to deal with her. Okay, man! On zip! zip. Orders? You're coming with us, Miss Klein! Stop! W what are you doing? <laughs> I'll risk both of them! And, and zip your pants back up! If they resist, shoot to kill! Yes, sir! Lacus, take cover! You traitor! Ah! What? Lady Lacus, are you alright? More of their friends! Damn it, we need free food! They had orders to follow me. Hey, you too. Are you wounded? 
No, we're fine. Thank you very much. You too, after. Huh? You ended up protecting me, didn't you? Yeah. Lady Lacus, we, we, have, we have to get away from here. Come with us. Okay, but first, Athrun. Huh? You should be able to find Kira somewhere on Earth. Why don't you go and have a talk with him? He's your friend, after all. Kira's on Earth? Meanwhile, back on Earth! At the night she goes. We'll be arriving in Orb's territorial waters pretty soon. Shall we greet them, Captain? Agreed. I'm confident that Mithril has already contacted him at this point. But we still have to be careful. Understood. Please open the comm channel, McGimmy. Sure thing. People of Nashiko, we have been awaiting your arrival. Who's that man, Kadia? He's Lord Azumi. Orb's chief representative. I didn't think he'd be speaking with us himself. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I didn't think he'd be speaking with us himself, though. Hello, Mr. Izumi Nara Ata. I'm the Nanashiko's captain, Yoriko Misumaru. Nice to meet you. Oh jeez. Hey, Yurika, what the hell are you doing? Mm -hmm. This is certainly a peculiar salutation. Oh, for crying out loud, she she did it again! Is that the proper way to greet a country's representative, Captain? How indisputably idiotic. Something wrong. <laughs> the, those voices! Oh, it's Commander Flogger and Captain Romeo, so the idea just say after all. Sorry for keeping you in suspense. You'll be happy to know that we decided to take refuge in Orb's borders, too. Plus, we have some other good news to share with you, if you believe that. It's been a while, Captain Miss Maru. Is that Kira? It is! Kira! I knew you were alive! I'm sure there are a great, a great many things for us to discuss. I hereby grant permission for both ships to enter our country and dock. Thank you very much! There are pretty... Th things are pretty tense here at Orp as well. Lord Izumi gave us, just gave us a brief overview. Oh really, you'll be able to tell us everything soon enough! And so, at Orb Office re Residence. Hey folks! Damn, I was worried about you guys! All we heard, it, all we heard was that Alaska base was annihilated and the Arcane Shadow go missing. So you can understand why we'd be worried. That must have been a serious brawl. We almost didn't make it, Ash, honestly. Just one minute late and we would have gone up with the base. And here's Kira, you jerk! You could have you could have at least had a comedy to tell us that you were alive! Sorry about that, a lot's happened. Kira! Kaga! You, you, you idiot! I thought you were dead! Oh? Look at that. Kagali. Uh, sorry! It appears you're already well acquainted. Welcome to Orb, gentlemen. Due to our current situation, I fear we may not be able to provide the warmest of welcomes. Please forgive me. An apology won't be necessary, sir. Truly, though, thank you so much! <laughs> no need to thank me. To begin, I'd like to hear everything that happened in your own words. Hours later... I see. So, both ships are now considered deserters of the Federation. The same thing happened to the Nanashiko too. 
I knew that Akatsuki na that I knew that Akatsuki Nagare guy was up to something, but who could have known that he was Nagal's chairman? That goes above and beyond any of our expectations. The next time we see him, I swear. Yeah, that's right. Nothing we can do about it now. <clears throat> Nothing we can do about it now, though. Still, at least we found out that Nergal's objective is the ancient ruins of Mars. We can be sure that they're gonna head back to the Red Planet at some point. I've been wondering, how are we going to negotiate a pact with Saft, the Gredotians, and the Jovian Federation all at once? That's what we want, right? That's what we all want, right? Speaking of Zaft, is it true that the Federation blew up Alaska with a Cyclops while both sides were still fighting nearby? Yes, it is. I saw it with my own eyes. I really wish I could say that I don't believe it, but... No buts about it. Those fellows are rotten to the core. That gambit annihilated most of the Zaf forces on the surface. For those in the upper echelons of the military, it was an ideal sacrifice. Cold-hearted plan, anyway, slice it. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the Uwafa now intends to mount a direct assault on the planets. They're leaving the Grodoshans and the Jovians for later. That much is said. But could their plan possibly go that smoothly? It's not like Zaf's the only one with troops here on Earth, after all. For sure. There's also Orphan and the Rodham to worry about. Oh, by the way, I don't see T-Boy anywhere. Is he back from HQ yet? We just got word from Freeman. Look like he's out of commission for the moment. Freeman also says something about them waiting for the results of some kind of bet they made. He'll be back when those results come in, I guess. A bet, huh? Sounds like he's back to his old self. <coughs> In a dream. So sad. Why does she always look so unbearably sad? What do you want to tell me? Who are you? Toya. How do you know my name? It's you, Katya. Did I say something? Were you sleeping in a cockpit again? You have to hold it together! I didn't intend to sleep here. Will you sleep again at night? If you don't stop when I'm bothering with you, you gotta be sorry! Yeah, I bet. <clears throat> By the way, how's the generator? It's at its limit as is expected. Any more stress and we won't be able to maintain our balance. Your response time has been way too fast these days, Toya. I'm pretty happy about that, I'll admit, but it's a miscalculation on our part nonetheless. I see. So things are that bad, huh? I've been doing some thinking about... Uh, I've been doing some thinking since we fought that Fulu chick. Toya, aren't you giving... A little too much thought to figuring out your relationship. <laughs> your relationship with them? One moment, one moment, I need to get something wet for my throat. Be right back. Record it! Um, let me read that line again. I was also thinking about since we fought that Fulu chick. Toya, aren't you giving a little too much thought to figuring, uh, figuring out your relationship with them? What she needs to ask is, you're worried about the Fury, aren't you? Hmm? Why should I be? We know, Toya. Even if you try to hide it. Or do you just worry about them when you're with us? After all, we may never know when they may appear. Hey, that's not true, I just... Excuse me, can I have a word with you? Alan will do nicely. 
Toya, there's something I need to ask you. Your father died in an accident on the moon, right? Y yeah. He was a friend of a man named Franz Zeppelin, correct? Uncle Franz. Yeah, he was a friend of my dad's. Treated me really well, too. Why'd you ask? I knew it. What do you mean? I also happen to be an acquaintance of his. Could this be chance? No, this must be fate. Come with me. I need to ask you for a few more details. Meanwhile, the flagship! Well, well. They actually escaped to orb in time and taste the effects. A slight de deviation from our from our predictions, nothing more. So what now? I don't think we should cut corners when pursuing them this time. We still have to finish gathering our troops, Azrael. You know that. Jumping the gun could prove dangerous, as I'm sure you're aware. Leaving them alone is only going to cause problems for us later. Do you really want them running around mouthing off about this peace nonsense of theirs? Think of the headaches! Then are you going to attack Orb as planned? Yes, that much is certain. The time has passed for allowing any naive stances of neutrality. We must join forces to face mankind's true enemy! The government. For the preservation of our blue and pure world, correct? Precisely. So, Captain, sir, contact Orb. It is to be on the safe side. If the rumor mill found out we didn't give them a chance to reconsider, we'd be on damage control for weeks. Back at Orb. A warning message from the UEFA. Yes. So the time has finally come. The world is being split in two. What do you mean? Read this. Okay. This is a dispatch from the UEFA to Orb's government. We make the following request of your sovereign nation. One, immediate re resignation of the current administration, current administrators of the Orb government. Two, dissolution of its armed forces, followed by their un unconditional yeah, unconditional integration into the UEFA. I really need my glasses. <clears throat> <clears throat> Back at the flagship, three, seed control over both the Nadashiko and Archangel, as well as all units inside both ships, to the Federation. Should you fail to meet our demands within 24 hours, the UFO will have no choice but to conclude that Orb is a supporter of Zaft and will confront your nation with force if necessary. So... Not bad, if I do say so myself. Do you really think they'll agree to those demands? If Uzumi Nanahatha is as stubborn as the rumors say, then no. But there's no skin off my back, either. It'll be an excellent opportunity to test out the new models. Meanwhile, back at Orb. Does that mean me and Ferris is going to attack Orb? Oh no! It's just as you heard, they're, they've been pressuring us for, they've been pressuring us to join forces for some time. But now it seems that they don't even want to bother keeping up appearances. They finally signed not to hold back, huh? How deep does their does their shame run? Damn it, that Cobra bastard! The one backing the UFA is Blue Cosmos leader, Murata Azrael. This is his duty. He's finally coming out into the open. That he's gay. What do you intend to do, sir? Kira? Father, is Orb going to... Cower before the Earth's army or request Zaf's support? Either way, this country, no, the Earth Sphere itself has no future. I cannot abide by these demands. Lord Azumi. Still, principles don't have to define re reality. Orb is on the verge of becoming an enemy of the entire Ufa. 
I got ideas with that kind of battle. They may be only ideas. But if we betray them just to avoid a battle, all we win for ourselves is a world of conflict and strife. A place where the Federation dictates who we kill without explanation or remorse. Do you approve of such a future? Even if we avoid battle for now by complying with their demands, we'll only suffer the same fate as Alaska tomorrow. Lord Azumi, I have to agree. If your goal is peace with the Jovians, you better draft a plan of action quickly. We don't have much time. But there's no time for indecision. We have to do what we can. We'll buy you some time, of course, but we won't be able to hold out for long. You had to think of a plan of action? There's no way we could just abandon them after they took us in, right? But making peace with the Jovian seems... I agree. We have to make peace with them if we're going to get anywhere. Well, we could easily go to space from here if we ignored orb situation. I'm staying here. Kira, what are you... Oh, Kira. While orb isn't exactly taking the plan of least resistance, I happen to think it's the right one to take. Nice area I got there, but did you really think we were going to turn tail and run? The world doesn't run on pros and cons alone. That's part of part. That's part of that's part and parcel of being a mercenary. So what are we gonna do, Captain? I want to be an orb. They took us in when we need when we needed most, and we still have to return the favor for Roman board. Yeah, that's right. Has Izumi turned over a new leaf? Stay tuned! I can't order all of you to agree with me, though. If I did, I'd be no better than the Federation. I think each and every one of you has to decide what you want to do for yourselves. What do you think, Captain Ramius? I feel the same way you do, Captain Miss Mother. Yeah! This is a broadcast to all crew members. Should a battle prove unavoidable, the Archangel will assist Orbs Fed. Orb's forces in opposition to the Federations. However, I cannot or order any of you to agree with that. If any crew members intend on leaving the ship, I advise you to seek shelter within Orb immediately. Wow! You're really serious about this? Did you get all that? We've officially broken ties with the Federation at this point. You're all free to make a personal decision about what you want to do and prepare accordingly. Over and out! What are you going to do, Toya? I've already made up my mind. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what that means, right? Yay! I mean... No, you don't! I mean, the guy, Toya! You turned out to be a real classy guy after all! Even though you, even though you uh, kind of sucked back when we first met you. Hey, now! Of all the times to say something like that, why now? Just a joke, uh, Toya, uh, no hard feelings. We are disappointed. <laughs> I can do what I want? You're screwing me? Didn't I already tell you this place is going to turn into a battlefield any moment, and there's no way for us to take care of you. You're free to go. I'm free? What am I my bus through? That was ours in the first place. Morgan Royte has it now, if you're looking for it. Mm, you're serious, aren't you? Yes. Hey, hey, wait. I mean, you know, are you really okay with letting me go like this? I... Are you suggesting that killing you would bring Tolly back? That it would make amends for his death? Don't be ridiculous. Killing you won't change anything, so you're free to go. Um, uh, can I ask you something? What was your boyfriend piloting? A Sky Grasper. It was a fighter jet, blue and white. Why do you ask? Wasn't me then. Huh? No, it is nothing. I see. So long. Uh, hey! 
Hey! And that mole getting roared there. What you want to show me? Oh, that? Right this way. Here we are. Lady Kagari! Th th this is... The strike? That's right. We had it. We had Morgan Rolante repaired after it was recovered. So we can use the strike again, huh? That'll come in handy. What about the M1 Astray Squadron? We can control him perfectly now. It's all thanks to Kira's cooperation during his last visit. To tell you the truth, they still make it look dangerous. Aw, that's... That's harsh, Kigali. Yeah, tell me about it. So, does this mean we'll be getting the strike back? Sure. Feel free to move it to the Archangel. Say, so I... Say no more. You decided to leave on your own free will, haven't you? Yeah, but I'm the only one leaving. Everyone else is staying here. Sigh. Why am I the only one leaving? Konami and the other girls are civilians too, right? Sai, why don't you leave too? That way we... Kuzi, stop it. I have balls. You don't. But... Okay, that's it. Stop right there, Kuzi. I don't know that much about you, but it's obvious that you have no intention of pointing a gun. That's someone pulling the trigger, yeah? K Konami... <laughs> I guess I may have overestimated my powers of persuasion a little bit. I'm still sticking around, though. Even if it is... Even if it is safer out there. I know I may be not... I know I may not be too useful in a fight. But I figure it's better that... I'm out of the way like this. Case me out of danger, I figure. And all of everyone else is back, of course. I'll deny that. You are a burden to no one, Chidori. Oh, you mean it? I'm so scared. Like I was saying, though, Kuzi, aren't you useful in your own way? Outside of battle, are there people who need you? Having people like you around is essential, if you ask me. If you ask me, positive influence and all that. I agree. Fighting on the home front is just as important as fighting on the front lines. We'll need people like you after the war ends. Even if even you're saying that, Miss Sagara, then... Should peace return, we all meet again, I'm sure. I wish you all the best. Y yeah Kuzi's left the ship. Looks like the bridge is down one more person. Yeah, but look on the bright side. Just about everyone else decided to stay. They'll have to tighten their belts a bit if we don't find a constant source of supplies, but... Lieutenant, why did you return to Alaska? Huh? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I, I've been meaning to do this for a while. What? <laughs> commander! I'm not a commander anymore. Right, Murray? But you know I'm not too fond of mobile armor pilots. Wrong again. I'm a mobile suit pilot now. Mm. Hey, what's going on here? He's gunning for it again. Oh yeah, that's the way you do it. Wait, should we really be doing this? Shh, just watch. David, what, just what do you think you're doing grabbing my shoulder like that? I just cut it out, I said cut it out! You move one of this and down you go! Hey, um, let's stop before we get in trouble, alright? Oh boy, things are really starting to heat up now. Hey, what are you guys doing? Can I do it too? No! I, 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 sir, whoa! Ah, uh, um, uh oh. You guys! What, what, what is it? 
What do you want? I'm on my... No, 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 just passing by. Yeah, yeah. That, that's right. <laughs> just passing by. <laughs> mm, passing by, you say. So sorry. That, that's a sorry. I'm back, Commander. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. Well, now the moment's gone. Jeez. Cock blocked! Huh? Hey, what are you guys apologizing for anyway? <sighs> really, Arthur? Really? Meanwhile, back at the flagship. <laughs> David just read my mind. I was about to say the same thing. Your demands are unjust, and we cannot accept them. Orb has no intention of altering its position as a neutral state. Just as planned. Impressive. Uzumi Nana Asa. Just as I expected from the line of Orb. Very well. We'll be using them then. Of course, this is the moment I've been waiting for. To be perfectly honest, I was a little worried he was going to agree to our demands. Attention forces! As of this nation, all the hostile nation! All units deploy and attack! Let's see if they can hold out until the bitter end. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It's an all attack! <laughs> all right, we're finally going in. I've been waiting for this. Things are so damn boring around here anyway. We're fighting? Tomon, where are you? Enemy battalion approaching. There they are. The Federation isn't holding back. Motherfucker! Strike! Launching! We're counting on you! Kill Yamato! Freedom! Launching! Leave the vanguard to us. Don't do anything reckless. Yo, Kai! You be careful to you! Take care of the rest! Let's get over there too! Well... Since we have a new unit and all. For a change of pace. And we do have a big change of pace. We have only six people to use since it's going to be one of those kind. It's one of those kinds. I'm going to check my um, units real quick. Did not mean I want to. Oh, I think everybody's all set and ready to go. Thought I'd really give a good check here. Give me a moment while I do a little customization. All right, now that I've taken care of that little issue, we're gonna have speedy units, so therefore, it's only best that I pull out speedy units. Half power, half speed. So for speed for power units, Monzing Kaiser, Great Monzinger, Great Ceramir. For speedy units, Nelly Brain. He may brain.
and Common. Okay, let's do this. So, we only lose if either our warship, Domon, or our main hero gets shot down. The one thing we're going to do is just camp. More troops! Mobile suits approaching. What's this? There's no data on them. Hmm. So those are the Ufa's new Gundams. I've heard rumors that they were in development. What? That didn't work? Damn it! <laughs> Bad kid! Wait, you guys, shut up! Kill them! How utterly disgusting. I hate those types of people. I agree! I can just take caution! Those no mobile suits seem kinda crazy. Roger that. Captain, another, another new suit incoming. What? Enemy ID signature confirmed. It's a mobile suit. A mobile fighter? Wait, what is that? It's cute. But that's Dolon! It's the Noble Gundam! I don't know what it's doing here, but... Yeah, no mistake about it. Captain Mitsumaru, that isn't our enemy. She's a friendly fight. Uh, she's a friendly Gundam fighter. R really? I know it sounds like a joke, but it's true. We've it, we've its records on file. Machine is Noble Gundam. Pilot is Adam Beardsley. She's from ne Neo Sweden. Huh? Why would a Swedish robot look like it's wearing a sailor uniform? Megumi, no. Personal preference, perhaps. Abby! Doman! There you are! Oh, shit! Wh what? What are you doing, Abby? I finally found you, Doman! Come on, let's fight! What? What's going on? Aw, oh, damn, is the DG cells at work? She's being controlled just like we were. Are you alright, Tomo? Uh, I'm fine. Captain Miss Maru. I heard. Is she really being controlled? Yes, we have to find a way to save her otherwise. Got it! Everyone, please avoid attacking that UN as much as you can. That clearly you in, Captain Ramius. Understood. Their enemy wave has reached the perimeter. Damn, they got a ton of these things. The white, that white one. I'll finish you off. Oh, Mobiles is approaching the the ship. If they shake them off, catch it. Time to die. The archangel's in danger. What? Who's that? Why are you getting in my way? What the hell? It's him! What are you doing? Stop sitting there, slack dog, and move! The Buster covered us? What are you natural thinking? Why the hell are you fighting against the Ufa? Okay, forget that. Domon will not be will not be a factor in this battle. So we got three new enemies. We got the Raider Gundam, the Forbidden Net Gundam, and Calamity Gundam. They're fast and dangerous, and of course, we have the Berserker Noble Gundam. In this battle, what you want to do is do not fight her. 
You can take on everybody else, but just like with previous battles with um, the Bloody Kaiser and getting Julia Asuka, you do not fight her. That's the one thing you don't want to do. You do not want to fight her. Unless you want to unless you want to miss the chance of getting her when Unless you want to miss the chance of getting Noble Gundam for your extra ally, then it's best not to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a smart thing, which is camp. I'm not gonna make a move. They're going to make the move. Cause that that damn cause that they that they that they're damn close. They're that damn close, so therefore Yeah. Alright, a little bit closer. Vanguard unit. Is going to be made. I'm making my Vanguard unit right here, right now. These units are going to stay right here as our camp units. So now then, you guys can bring it on. Thank you, I was about to say, could you please hurry the fuck up? It's a beauty, ain't it? What is this? It's an ass kicking, that's what it is. So in this battle, what you want to do is just not hit Allen, Allen B. That's what you want to do. You do not want to hit Allen B. And Toy gains another level, and he's a double ace. Tenkai! Who?
And if most of you remember this battle, I actually used this battle while I was, um, while we at the RCO was taking on PETA for the Pokemon black and blue thing that they were making fun of. So yeah, this fight, reminiscent to that rant we all did around the campfire. But this time, I'm just about to break somebody's ass. There's a reason why, and you're going to see it pretty soon. There's a reason why you do not want to, you do not want to um, attack out. If you remember in the anime, she was controlled by, she was basically mind control system. Just like the gym system in original generation, there's a system that actually turns her into a it turns her into a preserver. Oh come on down, I know you want it. Come on down, don't be frightened. It's not gonna hurt much. Oh, and more reinforcements. Ugh, more of them? Fourth wave, fourth enemy wave has broken through the defensive line. At this rate, don't sound so weak. A commander must remain a figure of authority even under the worst circumstances. But, Father... Can you hear me, Kira Yamato? What? That, that voice! Hey! What the hell? Why'd you come here? At throne! A Gundam? Kira! Did you say Athrun? The guy who piloted the ages? It's Safton? Damn. Why they had to crash the party? Wait, Fujiwara. We're not sure if he's our enemy. Huh? What do you mean? Astrum. Kira! I'll cover you! Uh... What the hell? <laughs> I knew it. It's him! Astrum, what are you up to? Has Zaf decided to stick its nose into this battle too? I'm not here on Zaf's orders. I'm here my own free will. Kira, I came here to talk with you. 
bathroom. But first, we have to take these guys down. Right. Oh, shit, yeah. We have Justice, Freedom, Strike, and Buster Gunner. Oh, shit. It's on now. Now I think things have pretty much picked up. Business has technically picked up and we are about to boom. We're about to drop the boom on this bitch. I think it's time for me. To go chain attack. Chain finger. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful day today. It's gonna be a great day. Oh, shit, yeah. I think it's time now to do the following. Moo, you're no longer having that. It's time to strike. Now it's a fair fight. Time to chain. Brain powered, welcome back. Phase slap kick punch. Trying to phase. Bitch slap. Kick to the head. Another bitch slap.
time to give him a, a goodbye cake. Okay. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because you're getting... Got the slash! Typhoon! Time to give you a taste of the great Zermir. Oh no! By the power of fire and water. Oh yeah, Mizu. Oh no! Mizu! Boom, stick it. And the most important point is in this battle, don't mess with Allenby. Do whatever you need to do. Evade her, but don't attack her. Kaushukubin! Oh no, it's the curse of Grandizer! Tenkai Beam! Take a finger! And support defense goes up by three.
Take a beam! Chichu! Jimo! I know, we're basically pony your ass. Of course it's way too easy because you're getting zip zang zip. Those are you getting zing zing zip? Your life is forfeit. It was an attack, till you screwed up.
I meant to say Kaze. Of course, I'm not dumb. I know I know my kanji rook very well. That was the sign of Kaze. I mean, when? Please bring your ass over here. Guys, getting this for that seat. Um, you know what? How about no? I don't know if we just turn into psycho bitch mode. Um, oh, don't worry, you will get a chance. For now, though, I think it's time for a little justice. Mozing power! Don't you fucking move. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I think we found our sniper. Table smash up punch. Don't fuck with my Zing Kai. I'm sorry. Oh, and on top of that, you don't fuck with great either.
again and again. Bitch flap! Ugh. I wonder if this is gonna be a secondary battle. Don't move! Because that will hurt. Damn, it's critical! Dead on. Behold the school of the undefeated of the East. This hand of mine is burning red. Its loud roar tells me to grasp victory. Ha! Barkinets! Go the finger!
Slap. Slap. And more. Slap. Somebody getting this taste slap out of their mouths. And I don't think they like it. You little bastard. The best kill. Come on, use Glare Attack! It's super effective!
like I said, whatever you do, don't attack her. Oh, come on. Oh, that miss. Then this won't miss. But yes, it works. Bouncing power! Put on! Fire! Blister! Overkill! Oh, and just to be sure... Attack, really? I am real disappointed in you, young man. So disappointed, in fact, that I must put you down. No, 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 no. Thorn, really? <sighs> oh no! 
Mewtwo! Stay right there. This won't hurt a bit. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Are you trying to mock double Zeta? How dare you, sir? Oh! Goodbye, sir. I guess I'm out of continues! <laughs> sir, this is not a game, but then again, if you think you're... Tenzin Nakajima, get the fuck out of here, please. So we get a flight unit and a propellant tank. Uh, uh, damn it! My time's up! Uh, uh, d damn it! You run one off, they all go away. What? what? The new enemy mobile suits have retreated! Why? How should I know? Just be glad they're gone! Down the finishes! <laughs> Chain God Slash. Oh, really now? How foolish. Even with Fulu to deal with, they still choose to kill their own brethren. Don't the seedlings realize they're closing the door to their own future? You earthlings. <laughs> I knew it! They're killing each other! We could just sit back and let them wipe themselves out! I can derive no pleasure from such a bounty. I see. That means you're here to settle this then. I expected no less from my beloved mentor, Lord Alvan. A knight does not waste time in idle conversation. Let's go! Yes, my lord! That unit! Is it Alvan's? Toya! You've, gro you've gotten stronger, I see. You've no reason to say that, Alvan! So, are you finally going to tell me what you know? I'm surprised you haven't discovered the truth for yourself. You've been absorbing the Cytron's energy this entire time. What? No matter. Today, we shall duel. You did well to survive this far, and it's only appropriate that I put both my blade and my honor on the line. If you want to learn the truth, then defeat me, and grasp the keys to your destiny with your own hands. I'm holding it at that. Tinia, let's go! Yeah! 
So considering that I have basically put a hurting on the UEFA and the Fury has come back once again for a severe ass kicking. I'm going to stop here in the next part. We're going to take on the rest of the UEFA and the Fury. Now, Super Robot Tyson J continues right after this.